Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, good morning, happy Sunday, happy everything to everybody. Um, I just wanted to kind of address uh, what I've been seeing here in regards to um, uh, the Cuomo brothers, uh, one being a former ESP, not excuse me, ESPN, too much sports, CNN um, reporter, correspondent and personality, and the other being a very high profile New York politician. Uh, well, the to make a long story short, something went wrong. I didn't follow it directly in terms of uh, what all happened. But basically, um, the CNN guy got in trouble with his job because he was trying to uh, protect his brother in some way. And that's as much of it as I got. That's as much of it as I needed for the conversation that I'm bringing to you guys, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't want to get into the details of the situation because I'm ignorant. Don't know. But what I can say is this. If there is a situation, and it very much depends on the relationship between myself and my brother, it very much depends on how far into the deep end my brother is and what types of stuff he's being accused of, etc. All of that matters. But what I'm saying to you is if it checks all the balances in regards to that, and I can firmly lay my head down at night knowing that ethically I need to protect my brother or ethically um, he's on the right or what have you. If it's something I can sleep with, regardless, sleep on, regardless if it's something you would be able to tolerate from me or him or both of us. You understand what I'm saying? If it passes my uh, ethical threshold in my mind, I can go ahead and go forward. If I make that choice, the consequences, of course, I have to deal with. If it's a professional situation like their situation and CNN fires me, fine. You know what I mean? I'll live with those things. And personally, I have no problem with what CNN did, how they came to whatever conclusion didn't follow it so that's that's for somebody else to argue what i'm saying is he was fired and the decision i would make in that situation would be the same one he made this job can go by the wayside i'm going to protect my brother now here is the part of it that i think a lot of people get lost in but they don't consider or maybe it just doesn't cross their mind but it would if someone brings it up whether my brother is right or wrong that's part of it Right. Or whether or not I want to protect my brother and I get along with my brother or have an affinity for for his safety or what have you. That's very much a part of it. But the other aspect of it that came to mind is people have elderly people in their family. I don't know the Cuomo's family situation, obviously, but it gets to a point where it's like it's not just my brother I'm worried about. Now I'm worried about his kids and how they're going to fare with the circumstance. I'm worried about my kids and how they're going to feel with the circumstance because it's family. That's uncle such and such. That's cousin such and such. And then grandma, mom, you know, maybe they have an elderly parent. How are they going to handle this situation? I got to get him out of that because they can't take this stress and I don't want this to go left for fear of what happens to them in the process of it. There are just too many different things that you have to consider when somebody in your family gets in some real 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 trouble and you're in a position to help them but maybe it puts you in a position to to possibly lose your job i mean it get, it it becomes a situation where even if you get along or don't get along with them you still have other things to consider that may force you into making the decision uh to protect them and i understand that and i don't think that enough of that uh, aspect of the conversation is being had in the various conversations about whether or not to condemn not only the Cuomo's, uh, Chris particularly, of course, for protecting his brother, but maybe other people in other situations similar to this one. Um, you know, I, I think about Nicki Minaj and her situation. It's viewed much worse and much different because of what her brother was accused of. But to be honest with you, the same thing applies. If she's willing to fall on her ethical sword to protect him, I don't necessarily only see the angle of the relationship between her and him or her possibly being sympathetic to to his cause or approving of his choices that's not necessarily the angle that i look at it in i'm looking at it as okay she's looking at the, the, the situation with as i said maybe they're elderly people in her family maybe she had a, a mother who would be concerned about what happens to this young man Regardless if he's guilty or wrong or whatever, she's not um, guilty, but will face great harm for, for worrying about him in the situation. Now, that's a choice that he made. 
And if I'm the subject in this situation, I'm speaking of, of Nikki's situation, but in this kid's situation, we can broaden it and pull it away from her and say, if I'm in that situation, I have to consider those things. Like, it's not my mess to clean up. He put mom in this situation. They, you know, in Chris's case, he put our family in this situation and he is why we're going through this. But if you're in that situation and because of his choices, your mom or your grandmother or your nephews and nieces have to suffer, you're not going to sit there and say, well, yeah, we need to just sit here and take this because it's his karma. I need to fix his mistake because I, this is my family. You know what I mean? And part of my legacy is making sure my family's straight. So I understand the nepotism aspect of certain things when people try to go and help family members or, or, or put their lives on the line to try to get their family members out of situations where they may be guilty. I, I understand that because there are other people in the family that you tend to worry about. And while this person may be guilty and deserving of all this crap, you don't feel you do. You don't feel your mom does. You don't feel your nephews and nieces does. You don't feel your children do. And maybe you take it upon yourself to play God and try to fix the situation. Now, if you follow the religions and the beliefs that I have, then you, you know it's not your responsibility to do those things. But even so, what if you say, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. I'll fall on the sword, I'll go to hell or whatever. I just want my family to be okay. You know what I mean? A lot of people will say that. I don't think Chris cares if we're sitting up here saying, yo, he ethically this, ethically that. He made a decision to fall on his ethical sword so that he can protect his brother and, and maintain whatever is going on there. Now, his decisions, his choices don't have to be limited to what it is I'm saying. I don't know what their decisions are or what the uh, motivation behind anybody's decision is. But what I'm saying is it's always important to try to seek other angles, to try to seek other aspects of the situation rather than just the most conventional one, which is those are two people with bad ethics who wanted one of them one to protect the other, do away with both of them. Hey, if you want to do away with both of them, that's the consequence of what it is they've done. They have to live with that. But what I'm saying is do not be confused about the possibility of an angle that's not being talked about, which is there are other people in this situation that need to be protected in the view of the person who's doing the protecting. And maybe that's not something to, to stone them over. Maybe that's something to take a good look at and say, well, how guilty are they? You know, what would we do in these circumstances? How can we um, maneuver the environment so that um, there are avenues for people to go to to help themselves in these situations? You know what I mean? How can we make it so that we start to take into account some of these other aspects of the conversation that maybe aren't talked about when we're considering these ethical situations and these nepotism type of conversations um, and leave room for, for the impossible. You know, this was a unique situation in their case, being that COVID was going on and all different stuff that, that was unique to their circumstance. And maybe the details of their circumstance may determine how much of a punishment they should get in comparison to someone else who maybe didn't have those circumstances involved in their situation. I don't know that CNN is looking at it that way. I don't know that they're supposed to, but I'm saying that it's worth talking about. It's worth putting it out there for, for future situations as well. I just think that as we continue to evolve in an ever-changing world, we need to try to find solutions uh, for the circumstances that come about that maybe we haven't seen before. Uh, conundrums that people may find themselves in uh, that put them at odds with their own ethics. And how can we protect those people? Because if you respect them for who they are before those circumstances happen, then you have to respect the fact that they're willing to fall on their ethical sword to protect someone for reasons that maybe they can't explain to you because of the circumstances. Now, at this point, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. Like I said, they got to fall on their sword for their choices. But what I'm saying is, if what he did was really something that was ethically on the fence, but it doesn't represent the fact that he's a on the fence kind of guy, but maybe he's just put into a position where he had to literally fall on his own sword then does he deserve the worst of, uh, of of our conversation? Or maybe does he deserve some some admiration for, you know, the aspect of it that we can appreciate once we break it down that way? I don't know. I don't know. But I think I'm here to, 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 to bring forth uh, that, that possibility. So, uh, like I said, this is not specific to their situation. I don't really know too much about their situation, but what this does do is provide the open scenario for me to provide to you guys. So that's what I got, man.
I wish the best for everybody involved. I am not mad at CNN. Again, I don't think I know enough to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying, hey, if it comes down to a job or my loved one, uh, I, I have other things to consider it, that consider than just my relationship with the loved one because people are intertwined and, uh, you know, I, I, I have love for all in my family. So uh, protecting my brother may mean protecting my, my grandma or my nephews and nieces. And that matters to me. So that's what I got. My name is BDF44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.